It's the Sphere Bloodstock Festival 2011. I'm hanging out with Imperial Vengeance. How are you doing, man? Very well, thank you. Yeah. How was yeah. your weekend been? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, you can't remember, or you just got here. No, I mean, I can't remember. I mean, it's been all right. Uh, it, it, it was it's been a bit heavy to, because I'm not working. We're not playing. I'm just here, sort of ligging, really. So uh, there's nothing to stop me. Promote the band, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, yeah. Obviously, we're, rep we're promoting the new album and everything. But cause I don't really have anything to do, so there's nothing to stop me drinking. You know. At least if I've got a gig to do, I have to be sensible. So yeah, it's a bit rough today, third day and all that. So you're going to be drinking tonight? Well, yeah, obviously. You've got to be done. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys have been around, what, since 2007? Uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah, that's so about right. How did it come uh, about with the transient well, signing? What it was, was we, um, uh, we were originally with Candlelight. We did the first album with Candlelight and um, it, I don't know, it didn't, something didn't really gel quite right with us and them. It just wasn't really, didn't, didn't quite work. Um, as as needed let's say so um rob ferguson who's who kind of scouted us out he, d he wanted to manage us uh, he does manage us uh, he, but he wanted to manage us and um and that's his label transcend is his label so it made sense obviously to keep everything in one place you know we're very much about trying to keep everything in house all the all the artwork most of the production and stuff is all done by within the band so it's that's good management and label all in one place you know Let's see. It cause you less problems later on, maybe. Uh, less and and well, there's there's good and bad things about it, you know. Because sometimes it's it's like you've got a manager, and sometimes you're you're sort of pushing. You're, you know, you're kind of pushing for something you're not really entitled to. So you get the manager to ring the label and argue with them. But of course, if the manager is the label, you can't, you can't really. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've got to watch it. But we've not we've not had any problems yet. So yeah, it's good. It's worked out really well. Now you know for for, for the people that haven't checked you guys mm -hmm. out yet, how would you describe uh, what your music is all about? One. It's, it's quite a tricky one to be honest. Um, initially, we got we got labelled as black metal, but we're not at all. We you know we. I, I, I'm very influenced by... The labels are dodgy these days, isn't it? Very like much so. Uh, we're, we're a strange one. I, I'm not really sure where you put us. I mean, I'm, I'm very influenced by, by bands like Emperor, Enslaved, uh, uh, Carcass. I love all of that stuff. But also very influenced by lots of very far-reaching things like serialist composers and uh, late romantic stuff like Wagner, Rachmaninoff. Um, but also really obscure um, Cardiacs, uh, Devil Doll, you know, sort of really odd e experimental music. Um, Madness, you know, all kinds of stuff. Wow. What ends up happening is it just becomes this. I guess the best way to describe it really would be progressive, progressive extreme metal. We just label it as dark aristocratic metal because it's kind of like you know British eccentricity, yeah. but extreme metal. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> you also just mentioned uh, the second album. Yes. That's right. Yeah, that's out on the 23rd of September. Now that's. It's not really a concept album, but it sort of ended up almost accidentally becoming one it's all to do it's all wrapped up in london and an old victorian london um and we're putting that out with a with a, a penny dreadful an old comic book all oh, right that's, that's so rather than having an album inlay we've actually got this comic book that will go with it which has got the lyrics in but all sorts of bizarre makes a change to your everyday cd package to do something a bit different give people a reason to actually have a product in their hand you know so how would you describe that this new work to, to your previous first one um, it's probably it's a bit more daring it's a bit more experimental we're not we're not it's not quite I think the first album at times veered towards being a little bit generic towards that kind of black death metal sound this one's still very much rooted in that but it but it's we're being a little bit more daring with it we're branching it out a bit more and doing doing more of what is what what makes us us as opposed to what as what uh, as opposed to our influences the things that are uniquely what makes Imperial Vengeance a, you know a, a separate band from yeah. other bands, you know. Exactly. But the new one's out in September. It's September, yeah, 23rd. Are you hoping to go out on the road? Um, yeah, I, I've got to pull my finger out. <laughs> I've been really lazy the last year. September is only like uh, a few weeks away. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I want I want to get it out and, and start moving it around and uh, just play a lot more gigs. So I think the last gig we did was actually a year ago. We, we did a, a tour with Sabbath. Have you played since? Yeah, it was about last August, I think. And I, I think yeah, support Sabbath on a tour. That's right. Yeah, that was that was great. I really enjoyed that, and those guys are fantastic. Um, but yeah, you know, we've been a bit slack since then. We've been having to sort out the album, and it's been quite a long process. But we've had loads of really difficult things because we've been organising guest appearances. We got uh, Dave Courtney, this old uh, old school gangster. Fi God, yeah. Finally got him down. He's, he's doing some voiceover uh, on the album as like the, oh, wow. you know, the voice of London sort of thing. So you know, right, right choice. Oh yeah, and what a fantastic character he is, and his whole family as well. Really nice people. That's good, man. You know, we wish you the best of luck with the album. Thank you. Uh, when it comes out, we'll Thank pick you. it up. We'll give it a review.
And um, a good review. Hopefully, in your, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, it will be good, mate. <laughs> and um, and you know, when you guys are on the road, we'll come catch up with you again. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you. Enjoy your day.